Members of the downtown Toronto business community, mostly lawyers from Bay Street law firms as well as in-house counsel from Nissan and Sun Life, marched from their Bay Street offices to Nathan Phillips Square on March 1st for human rights. The March on Bay Street was planned by a small group of lawyers in spirit of the recent travel ban in the U.S., the terrorist attacks on the Quebec City Mosque, and the harassment of religious minorities. As lawyers, it's our job to uphold the rule of law. And so it was important that this wasn't just personal. It was something where we could unite like-minded people across our industry and in Toronto. The march is timely because there's a lot of changes that are happening globally, which we hope Canada will take a, a positive stance against and listen to our communities and what we're saying and that we support inclusion and diversity. It's a message we're sending, the message that we value diversity, we value inclusiveness, and uh, the importance of uh, human dignity in all that we do. And uh, the time is always right to talk about these issues. I think as a country, it's, uh, it's a t you know, we're changing, and it's important that we embrace that change and that we make the most out of that change. And this is a strong message that we're doing that and that we're all taking this very seriously. Once arriving at Nathan Phillips Square, attendees left their business cards as part of a petition to be delivered to Canadian Parliament for Canadian political leaders to continue to support diversity and inclusivity and stand against actions that go against these values of the country. In a diverse and inclusive society, you're not defined by your difference, but rather you're defined by mutual respect of them. It is only when we do this and good people of character and integrity can live their authentic lives and speak their true and authentic voice. So this idea kind of had its genesis in a lunch where we brought together people who were concerned about events. So it was a weekend after the travel ban, the events in Quebec City. And what we did was just we listened to each other. And what we found was that people were empowered by being together, by talking, and that at this point in life, there were events where hate and division were spreading and we thought that it was a time when you had to do more than donate. Many of our associates and, and members of our community donate, their members, they adopt Syrian families, they do wonderful, wonderful things. But this was somewhere we wanted to have a visual representation of standing up against hate. The March on Bay concluded with the attendees united singing O Canada. For Legal Feeds, I'm Alexia Kapralos.